All right, so today is the day that we get this engine bay finished. Ben's in his coveralls slash hoodie slash whatever. It was <laughs> sweet boots, dude, sweet boots. Anyway, so it was snowing earlier today. It's, it's stopped, thank goodness. Um, so anyways, what we're doing is we're just getting the car degreased right now, then we're gonna power wash it, then we are going to scotch bright it, and then um, put some heat lamps on it, get it dry, and then it um, then it's gonna get painted. We're trying to make us a little homemade <laughs> homemade booth so we'll see how it goes Right, guys so we got our makeshift paint booth here look at that there we go so first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna come and spray spray the undercoating for under here so we got all, all taped off obviously all this components and stuff is going away so it doesn't really matter if we spray that and then got everything taped off so then we'll actually Remove these after, or remove these um, after we spray the undercoat because this just goes underneath. And then we'll um, spray in here. So it should be good. All right, so we just got the other wheel well all coated. So we might just have to touch up a few things when we do uh, the suspension. But for the most part, it's all done. And I'll show you in here. We actually even coated the transmission tunnel. So you can see that's all coated down into there as well. So then what we're doing, just etch Primering, then we're just going to go over it with um, alcohol just to get off any water droplets that might be left, and then we're going to spray this bad boy. Oh, base coat black. Base coat of black. So it's going to be a matte black. It's going to be a base coat, base coat black, and then a matte clear on top. So base coat black, and then a matte. There. So it should look really nice. Sorry if you live in California and you can't buy these cool things. They can't buy the AR heaters? Or what? No, they can't buy these. 
probably can't buy these spray paints. Wow. Because our, our clear is a two part clear. And I don't think it's uh, compliant for California use. Sorry. All right, well, you heard that. Two part clear, possibly not compliant for California. Because they have to use waterborne paint. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. That's what you get for being fancy. That's <laughs> what you get for being fancy. Of my brain. Yeah, so Ben, why why you got a towel sticking out of your head? I yeah, just don't get it. Is it, that the new like trend? It just looks good. <laughs> it just looks good. If you were with it, you would know what this was all about. <laughs> You're not with it. You're old and out of touch. <laughs> I'll let you know that Ben just <laughs> gashed himself on this <laughs> IR heater. Ben, now why is it that you always gash yourself? I'm very accident prone. <laughs> very accident prone. Very accident, but I continue at it, so. So I'm glad you're working hard. I'm just sitting here eating these delicious cookies that I'm gonna do a shout out to Ben's wife, Katie, because I know that she's gonna watch this and and tell her how awesome her cookies are. They are amazing. My wife count me cookies, but that's okay. She knows she can't, so she won't care. All right. Hey, I got you your tack cloth. It's cheese. cheese. Cloth. She's cloth. Tat cloth. Oh, dude, did you see that was for California Californians right there? It said compatible with airborne. With waterborne paint. Waterborne paint. Ideal for base coat, clear coat. Will not dry out, harden. So yeah. Spontaneous combustion proof. That's good to know. Yeah. All right. So. So this is a. You get these at the paint supply store, and uh, Bella did. It's crazy. It's kind of sticky. Oh yeah, dude, I tell you, it's like cheesecloth. But it, um, yeah, it just picks up all any loose debris or anything, so it's just gonna give us a nice, smooth surface. Right, so we're which gonna, is what we want. And we're gonna hit it now, and then we're gonna spray our base coat, and then we'll hit it again before we put our clear down. Cool. And it won't dry out in the meantime. And it's not combustible, so. And it's not combustible, so it won't blow up. Yeah. I'll hit my head on the wind, but this won't start off. Okay, careful, watch, watch your head, watch your head. I'm good, bro. So yeah, just go ahead, give that nice rub down. Oh yeah, he likes it. <laughs> Where? Right there? All right, so Ben's just finishing up the tack cloth wiping down, and then here's our base. So we're just doing just a straight black. So this is the same paint that you'd spray out of a paint gun. I just had my paint shop guy aerosol for me because I don't have a compressor that will handle a paint gun. So yeah, there you go. So this is just a cheap, I would never paint a whole car that way, but an engine bay, absolutely. Right, no. What do you mean, you don't want to rattle can a whole car? I mean, maybe later. <laughs> what are you doing later? <laughs> What's up guys? It's like 10, 30, we're gonna spray some clear. So I wanna show you this cool product that we found. My uh, paint supplier showed this to me. This is an actual like two part, uh, 2k clear coat uh, this is a matte finish and uh, use this little red guy here and you pop a capsule inside my mask keeps doing it. and it actually is a two-part clear you shake it up for 10 minutes to get a mix and it sprays out and it's a uh, just a regular body shop clear coat so super cool stuff I use it all the time uh, this is my first engine with it so let's see how it goes did the clear has been laid So I guess it'll probably go a little bit more matte, still a little wet, but yeah, there you go. All right, there you guys go. It's all done. It's just. Doing some more curing with the lamp. So it should be ready tomorrow to get everything put back in. So that'll be the end of this video. Hey, just remember that you can win this car. So if you'd like to enter to win, just go to modifiedenvy.com and, and every $5 you spend will get you one entry to win. So this thing's gonna be Pretty sick. I'm excited for it.